On today's podcast, we take time to honor those who are important to us, our family, bring you some wind symphony, and we catch a glimpse of the new uniform and show. Summer is here. B Corps and C Corps here to enjoy some food, friends, and of course the family. I'm here with some age outs who I've all marched with and we're going to find out how they feel. Sarah, what's it like to be here today? It's bittersweet, but um, more than being sad, I'm just really happy to come out and support the kids, especially like those C Corps and you watch them grow and they have such a fun time with it and they're adorable, so I really have a good time. It's awesome. Oh, it's fun to come back. It is. So, Mike, you aged out in 03. Correct. Good year to age out. Yeah, definitely. But how does it feel to be back now? Um, it's fun. Like it, it's a very enjoyable atmosphere. It's always welcoming. Like even no matter when you march, you always get to hang out with the friends that you already had that you marched with, and you meet new people that are marching now. It's just a big family no matter when you march, and we see everyone that plays together, B Corps, C Corps, and A Corps all together. That's always exciting to see. So it's good to be back around Absolutely. everybody. So Heidi, what usually goes on during family day? Well, first we start out with taking pictures, nice, bright, early in the morning. And then we come over for the lovely food, which is always good, provided by every A, B, and C Corps family. And then we go over to the stadium and we watch the C Corps, the B Corps, and the A Corps with their new shows for the summer, which is my favorite part. I always get so excited. It is exciting. This it is the is. first time you're going to see them, huh? Yeah, and it's probably going to be the only time. So I'm going to be rooting them on hardcore. I think we all will. Yeah. But Angela. What's your favorite part of Family Day when you were marching? Ooh, when I was marching? Um, probably just the performing, get to do it for the first time. It's always nerve-wracking, nerve but just to know that you have people from the past coming and supporting you, like we're supporting them, it's always a good thing to see the old people in the crowd rooting you on. And the little so, kids looking yeah. up to you. <laughs> and now we're back and we're the ones rooting everyone on. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. No problem. Thank you. And when we come back, we have a lot to show you, but we're also going to see some of the new uniforms. Summer nights are for drum corps, and it all starts in June. Get your tickets to the most exciting drum corps shows in Northern California. NorCal Nights, featuring the best corps in the world. Great seats available at these great shows. The Pacific Procession in Hayward, the Kaleidoscope Classic in Modesto, Precision West in Pleasant Hill, and the fabulous Moonlight Classic in Stockton. For more information and tickets, go to dci.org or call 800-495-7469. The best drum corps in the world will be at NorCal Knights. Get your tickets now.
Luke, who I found wandering around. John Holmes, who aged out last year with me. You've been here forever, John. How's it feel to watch somebody else on the podium with you? Without you. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely a lot different. I got to be with Brandon for all the last summer, and he's a great guy, and you know, who better to pass it off? And then uh, Brian as well, great young man from what I've known about him so far, so it seems like he's gonna fill up the shoes pretty well. You think Brandon's gonna do a good job filling your shoes? He better, otherwise I wouldn't have done a good job training him, so if he fails, it's kind of my fault too, though, but he'll, do, he'll be fine. Pretty big shoes to fill. I'd say so. You know, I, been here for five years. I mastered my job pretty well and I tried to train Brandon as much as I could in that one year I was able to have with him. So hopefully it worked out good. Now, life after drum corps. How is it? Well, I'm engaged. This is my fiance Felicia. I got engaged. Uh, we were going to get married this May of 2007, then March of 2007, but the final date is going to be January 27, 2007. So all wedding gifts will be appreciated and accepted. <laughs> uh, send them to the Blue Devils Hall and they'll afford them to me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and I've got my truck driving license, so I'm driving trucks right now, putting my schooling on a hold for now. Unfortunately, I'm not driving for the Corps, no paid vacation yet, so oh. hopefully next summer though, I'll get put in a week or so. So you, you want to come back for the summer and kind of like give back a little bit? Well, I was really hoping to be able to come back this summer and put in, you know, if not the whole summer, at least a good few weeks, but you know, unfortunately, finances and different things like that kind of held me back. Understandable, once yes. you're not on tour, it's like, the real world. Yeah, you have <laughs> you're a lot, not ready for although it. you're pretty broke when you're doing drum corps, but you have a lot more bills when you're not doing drum corps, so it's about the same. How do you think the corps is going to do this year? Well, from what I've been hearing so far, nothing but good things. And, you know, Scott Chandler and Dave Glide and the whole design team gave me a great show to perform. So I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you know, typically a year ending in 06 means a ring, so hopefully it'll come true for them once again. Hopefully enough to win. That would be good. Thank you, John. No problem. Thank you. Let's go talk to some more people around the picnic. I'm here with Mary, who has been working all day setting up this wonderful picnic for everybody. How long did it take you? Well, we started around 11.30, really. But you know, I have to admit, it's a team effort. There are parents from and friends from the B Corps and you know, A Corps adults. It's just a team effort, and that is what makes it a success. And you know, it's a great feeling to be doing things on behalf of the young people involved with the Blue Devils. How many hot dogs have been eaten today? You know, I do not know. We bought approximately 800, and I think I see nine left. <laughs> That's a lot of hot dogs. A lot of hot dogs, great. Right. A lot of family coming and just enjoying the time together. That's great. That's great. <laughs> thank you so much, well, thank Mary. You. I'm Dandy. I'm Dandy. Nice to you. I'm starving. Do you plan to come back to family days? Oh yeah, I mean once you're in the Blue Devils you never really fully age out of the Blue Devils. Everybody comes back every year and checked out family day. It's part of your family now. Remember my first family day in 97 like it was yesterday when an Acorn Color Guard person talked to me and it was the best day of my life and so it's family day is just a special day and it will always be a special day for me. At BlueDevils.org, you can keep up to date with current news, get an inside perspective with member blogs, download pictures and digital media, find a show near you with our performance listings and schedule. Be sure to visit our web store where you can find an assortment of Blue Devils merchandise, from t-shirts to CDs, DVDs, and more. Stay informed and connected at BlueDevils.org. We're here with 
Gail Schultz at the Sufi booth. Gail, what do we have new this year? Well, we have a lot of new women's apparel as well as kids' things and, of course, the Godfather shirt, which I really want to show you first. So here's our new Godfather shirt, um, and um, it's uh, designed by a designer in France, and uh, I think it's going to be a big seller. This is the tour shirt. shows her every place where we're going to. And let's come around here and look at the kids' stuff. So we got a couple new things here in kids' shirts uh, called the Future Blue Double, and also the kids' shirt right here where it says, it's a new, it has all the color guard things and horns and drums on it. So I think this one's going to do really well. And a little kid's hat. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it's a little kid's hat. We've never done a little kid's hat before. And the new ladies polo shirt is up there, uh, which I think is going to be a really good seller. Now, Gail, how important are the sales at Suvies? They're very important. Uh, they help us uh, to fund the tour for the core. Uh, and we've got three di two different cores you know, full, uh, going this year. They're touring this year. We've got the A core and the B core. Uh, so it's a big part of our income and our budget. So um, we, uh, every year our sales go up. Our internet sales are way up this year. Uh, I think they're going up a lot because we have new merchandise. We, we completely redo the line every year. So, um, but it's a very important part of our income. Can you still get some of the old stuff? There are some old things. We will have them on tour with us uh, as sale merchandise. We have a few of it still on the website as well. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Gail. Hi, you're very welcome. Thanks for joining us, and of course, send your questions or comments to blueview at bluedevils.org. We had fun today, right guys? Yeah. yeah. And I got a new shirt. So let's watch the performances that are going on right now. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.